so in this section we will discuss about active directory structure active directory structure consists of logical and physical structure physical structure consists of domain controller and sites domain controller is nothing but your server and this is the physical server you can touch it and sites means the place where you install this domain controller okay this is the physical structure and logical structure consists of domain trees and forest okay so domain ms.com is the part of logical structure and it is having trees and forest as well so we will see what is this tree and forest in our coming classes so domain model has centralized management so as we have discussed domain model is a centralized management and let us say user wants to log on to any client the request will go to the domain controller and domain controller will check its database and it will see whether the user one is created or not user to want, wants to come, log on to client two again he will provide its credential his credentials and this credentials will be verified by the domain controller if, if it is available then only this user to can log on to client to and so on so domain model has centralized management and with workbook model there is no centralized management so all the users are created on the local clients okay and guys we have only one domain controller which is 10.0.0.1 in our net environment so if you have hundreds of users okay and all the hundreds of users are logging with this one domain controller so it will have the overload this is the first problem and there is a single point of failure if this domain controller goes down this users won't be able to log on to their computers this is the this is these are the problems when you only have one domain controller so what is the solution to overcome these issues we should add secondary domain controller this secondary domain controller is the backup backup domain controller so if you already have a domain controller in a domain you can add the additional domain controller to the domain to improve the availability reliability of network services so let us say we have one domain controller and we have created one additional domain controller adc okay so this additional domain controller it will have the copy of domain controllers database okay it will have like user 1 user 2 user 3 user 4 and if this domain controller goes down these users are still can log on to their computers using this adc the request will first go to domain controller if it is not available then the request will go to the additional domain controller or backup domain controller it will check whether this users are available in the database or not so these users are available so they can log on to their computers this is the use of additional domain controller so we can have secondary domain controller with any operating system but the forest function level should match so we have installed this domain controller on windows server 2022 and we are creating one adc okay so we can install this adc on any operating system like windows server 2016 it will work but you should make sure that the forest functional level should match okay if this computer is having the forest function level 2016 this dc also should have the forest function level 2016 then only we can create the additional domain controller if the forest function level are not matching so these two servers are not compatible with each other okay so how to verify the forest function level of both the devices you will go to ms.com then you will go to properties okay under this properties you will see the 
डोमेन फंक्शन लेवल एंड फॉरेस्ट फंक्शन लेवल हियर इन दिस एग्जाम्पल इट इज टू थाउजेंड एट सो वेन यू आर क्रिएटिंग द एडिशनल डोमेन कंट्रोलर द फॉरेस्ट फंक्शन लेवल शुड बी टू थाउजेंड एट ओनली एंड विल कॉन्फिगर आवर मेंबर सर्वर एज बैकअप सर्वर सो गाइज वी हैव वन मेंबर सर्वर एंड द आई पी एड्रेस ऑफ द मेंबर सर्वर इज टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट टू एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी इंस्टॉल्ड विंडोज सर्वर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू ऑन दिस मेंबर सर्वर सो वॉट वी विल डू वी विल मेक दिस मेंबर सर्वर एज एडिशनल डोमेन कंट्रोल सो द नेम ऑफ दैट कंप्यूटर इज सर्वर टू एंड इट इज ऑलरेडी इन डोमेन एम एस डॉट कॉम ओके सो द करंट आई पी एड्रेस ऑफ द मेंबर सर्वर इज टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट टू एंड प्रीफर्ड डी एन एस इज टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट वन इफ यू सी हियर द आई पी एड्रेस ऑफ द मेंबर सर्वर इज टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट टू एंड द प्रीफर्ड डी एन एस इज टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट वन एंड वी वॉन्ट टू मेक दिस सर्वर एज ए डी सी एडिशनल डोमेन कंट्रोलर सो वी नीड टू मेक सम चेंजेस हियर सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मेक दिस सर्वर एज डोमेन कंट्रोलर सो द आई पी एड्रेस विल बी सेम टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट टू एंड द प्रीफर्ड डी एन एस इट विल बी सेम टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट टू बिकॉज वी आर गोइंग टू इंस्टॉल द एक्टिव डायरेक्टरी हेयर ओके सो द आई पी एड्रेस एंड प्रीफर्ड डी एन एस विल बी सेम हेयर एंड इन द सेक्शन इन दिस फील्ड ए डी एन एस और ऑल्टरनेट डी एन एस वी विल कॉन्फिगर टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट वन विच इज द आई पी एड्रेस ऑफ अवर डोमेन कंट्रोलर so primary domain controller doesn't have any alternate dns so if you see here the primary domain controller ip address is 10.0.0.1 and preferred dns is same 10.0.0.1 and it doesn't have the alternate dns server ip address so to configure the secondary domain controller we should install the active directory and dns so let us say we have selected this server which is 10.0.0.2 so to make it adc we need to install active directory and dns and we will give the existing domain name so we are going to use ms.com only okay so this will be the part of ms.com because this will be the additional domain controller the primary server is called as domain controller so this 10.0.0.1 domain controller it is called as domain controller only and the secondary server or backup server is called as additional domain controller or adc and the ip address of this adc will be 10.0.0.2 so guys the backup server is the copy of primary server so let us say this is our backup server 10.0.0.2 and it is adc and this is our dc so it is the copy of our domain controller so which means let us say you have created user 1 and it this user 1 will be copied to adc so the backup server is the copy of the primary server so when we create a user on domain controller it will be updated to adc and vice versa and and vice versa which means if you create any user like user 2 in adc it will be copied to the domain controller and this replication type has read write permission so guys it should have read write permission then only the replication will be done from dc to ac adc adc to adc replication means update so read write permission should be there then only the update will be done and uh, we have read only domain controller as well okay so read only domain controller is also a backup domain controller but has only read only permissions and it is installed on different sites so let us say guys you have different sites and we have this domain controller 10.0.0.1 and uh, 
you want to configure the additional domain controller so it is in hyderabad and you want to install this additional domain controller let us say in bangalore and in bangalore you have a junior system administrator and you don't want to give him read write permission you don't want the bangalore administrator should create the username and passwords in that server in the adc so in this scenario what you will do you will create the backup domain controller but you will give only read only permission okay so it is also a backup domain controller but has read only permission and it is called as rodc read only domain controller so all the users names will be created in the domain controller and it will be updated to the adc okay or you can say rodc it will be updated here and if this domain controller goes down these clients can still log on to their computers using this rodc and guys let us see the client configuration so we have seen the ip address configuration on domain controller we have seen the ip address configuration on additional domain controller and how will you configure the workstations how will you configure the computers pcs so let us say you want to configure the ip address as 10.0.0.10 and the preferred dns will be 10.0.0.1 the ip address of the domain controller will be the preferred dns and alternate dns will be the adc ip address which is 10.0.0.2 so the request will go to dc so if this client one or the client two wants to log on to the user two wants to log on to client two the request will go to dc if it is available it will allow if it is not available then the request will go to adc adc will allow this user to log on to client two okay so if dc goes down users can still log on to their client machines using adc and in case of no replications let us say you have created some users like u1 u2 u3 it should be replicated it should be updated to adc in case there is no updation if there is no replications you need to wait up to 180 minutes maximum you need to wait up to 180 minutes so within this 180 minutes it will update the users to adc okay otherwise you need to restart the computer for the update so you should restart the computer you should restart the server in non working hours or you need to check the connection as well okay whether the connectivity is between dc and adc is there or not if it is there you need to wait for 180 minutes if it is not updated within this 180 minutes you need to restart the server now what we will do we will install the adc then we will do the verification so let us do this lab 